A messy situation is unfolding across the nation. Wet weather is extending from Maine all the way down through New Mexico, with some of the messiest conditions surrounding Texas. Weather conditions range from severe storms to blizzard conditions across the western part of the state. Flooding concerns extend northward to areas south of the Great Lakes, where the rainfall has been abundant. And as we head through the next few days, this area of low pressure will continue to lift northward, spreading accumulating snow into the upper Midwest and bringing the threat for severe weather down toward the southeast. Severe concerns for today, once again, in these uh, orange shaded areas, that is where we have an enhanced risk. Not only is wind and hail a concern, but conditions are right for tornado development. A slight risk zone encompasses all of Louisiana and into southern Arkansas, and the marginal threat area even extends northward down toward the southwestern corner of Ohio. Tomorrow, that severe threat will continue to shift into the southeast as the frontal boundary associated with this area of low pressure moves further eastward. That will include much of Alabama and into the panhandle of Florida. Along that frontal boundary, the rain has been plentiful. For these flash flood watch areas, many of them have already picked up between two to four inches of snow, and, or I should say of rain. And by the time it's all said and done, rainfall totals could be between four to six inches. So significant flooding, a concern for some of these areas. Of course, on the flip side, it's much colder, and that precipitation comes in the form of snow. Blowing, drifting, wind chill values below zero, it's all a part of the situation, especially for these red shaded areas where we have blizzard warnings in effect. Snow foot drifts could be up and over 10 feet in some locations, while the snow totals could be up to a foot, wind chill values dropping back below zero. Check back here for the latest updates.